Hi, Rob Linhart here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and here we go with Sunday specials for July 16th and 17th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. We've got three wines to talk about this week. Two reds, one white. We're going to start in Spain with the 2018 drama Red Blend. Now, this is coming out of La Mancha, that great big area in the central part of Spain around Madrid. Very hot there. They grow a ton of Tempranillo. And what we're going to get for that big Tempranillo and Grenache blend is a bold, spicy, juicy, fresh style. So up front, classic Tempranillo notes of those slightly darker berry fruits, a little bit of blackberry, sort of leaning into black cherry. The Grenache will bring a slightly redder tone. Little hints of that spice. Herb details will show through. Classic little note of Spanish earth carrying through on this wine. Nice, full-bodied, just a little bit of tannin showing through on the finish. So maybe a little bit of food with this to take the edge off the back end on this wine. But a big, bold, easy drinking all around table red from the heart of Spain. Next up, we're heading a bit further north in Spain now to Val de Ores for the 2020 Casal Novo Godeo. Many of you, most of you in fact, probably will not know this grape, Godeo. This is a grape that can be so aromatic and that's what we're getting in the bottle here. So up front, some beautiful floral tones, Mediterranean flowers. We'll get into some lightly spiced fruit. I was thinking about light pear, maybe some crisp white peach. Again, with that little bit of that spicy note carrying through, Again, like the red with a little bit of sort of a Spanish earth or nutty tone to this wine to give some nice detail. Good acidity, great balance in this white. Nice and juicy up front, but dries out, gets to a bit of a firm mineral finish. The finish will kind of come back at you a little bit with a nice sort of slightly salty tone even, and even a hint of what I would call white cherry. So a good, long, complete finish a great example of a classic Spanish grape. Last but not least, we're heading to Santa Barbara for a repeat performer. This is the 2016 Martian Ranch Parallax Mourvedre. Now, Mourvedre, as so many of you know, a classic red grape from the south of France and also has a great home in Spain. Here we're in California, but we're gonna get some of those really classic Mourvedre notes. Right up front, it's gonna get you with this sort of chocolate covered blueberry, black cherry tones, leading into some redder fruits, little bit of red berry, red plum fruit. That's gonna carry through from the nose right to the finish. But along the way, you're gonna pick up some lightly spiced notes, maybe just the slightest hint of oak here. They did use a bunch of used oak. It doesn't really have a big influence here, but if you look for it, you might find it. It will darken up, firm up a bit on the finish as it carries through just a hint of a smoky tone. Now, over the last nine, 10 months, this wine, I feel, has lost a little weight and it has integrated nicely now. So the structure in this wine, the acid, the tannins, all very fine now, very easy drinking style, a bit on the light side for the grape, but a really balanced, well-made Santa Barbara Red. John was the first one to pull you down. One drink and he started to clown. Passed you the hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.